Hey guys, so today I'm doing a video of these three monitors here. Um, the Dell U2311H, Isis, I don't know, it's just a 22 inch, and the Dell 2409W. Lovely. Alright, so first up, the Dell U2311H. That is a complicated name. Um, yes. This is probably the worst monitor for gaming because it has an 8 millisecond response time. So, if you're one of those high up gamers, constantly looking for best performance to get your high stakes Call of Duty match, then this is not the one for you. But if you're a video editor or just someone casual like me, it's perfect. Unfortunately, it does come with a fairly large price tag, because it's Dell. In terms of the stand, very, very good stand. I'm a big fan of it. It can go. It can go. It can go. Yeah, this isn't the newest. <laughs> Alright, so it can go this, though. All the way up to there. You can also twist independent of the base stand. You can do full horizontal twist for all you editors out there. And go full down into the stand. Pull up if you bring it back. Also has the amp bonus of being able to do that pretty far. So it can only go to there but still. So, two USB ports, special USB I don't know the name of, VGA, not sure why you want that anymore, DVI D, I think, and display port, along with a normal kettle lid. Well, I believe that's an RCA port. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, that is also 1080p. 1080p. 8 millisecond. Yes. Next, ISIS. Not something someone says every day. I'm not sure if I'm going to be pulling this one out for you, though. <gasps> Alright, so next. The ISIS monitor. The king of all terrorist TVs. Genuinely made by ISIS. Alright, so it's an ISIS 22 inch full HD 1080p LED TV. No matter what the websites tell you, this is LED, it's not plasma. So, I had a one year warranty on it, that's gone now. It, it's got free view because it's a TV, PC and which is VGA, HDMI. So, yeah, it's got an integrated free view tuner. It's 5 millisecond response time. Viewing angle, oh, that's a good point. It doesn't have an adjustable stand, face much later, but it doesn't have a very good stand with it, it's just a standard. TV stand. So, next. The Dell 2409W. Oh, they, they I like trains. That's 2409W. This, it's got a more ordinary stand than the U2311H. Oh, why they have such annoying names? Um, all it can do really is up, very steep up though, and down, very, very steep down. Okay, it has an LED in the power button as well, should you need it. So, for terms of plugging stuff in, we've got a VGA, HDMI, DVI-D, and audio in, audio out, which you probably can't see, and a kettle lead. There's the audio in, audio out. Just there. Well, I'm holding on to this monitor with one finger. Yeah, just there. Have a look at the menus. So, menus on this are very easy to use because the buttons you can push from the front. So, you can have instant access to brightness or contrast. Um, preset modes. Things like cool, warm, game, multimedia, and standard. I don't know why I put it on. Custom. And the menu. It's got brightness or contrast again. Input source. Or I've got an auto select. Colour settings. Which I don't mess around with because I like the way it is. 
display settings, other settings, and finally personalise the shortcuts. It also tells you the name, which is useful because this is a fucking complicated name. Next, the ISIS 22 inch. This has a small interesting menus and it has no buttons really apart from a couple on the back that I don't know what they do but it does have a very handy dandy handy dandy controller included which does not have a brand you can literally find these on the Googles I found it easily um, very light as well batteries haven't died either just take some included double A's, tri triple A's, which has um, remote control, which is lovely because now I can stay behind the camera. So you've got channel lists. I've only got nine because that was all I had last time I plugged it in. It's not plugged into TV anymore. Uh, all right, so I was watching the footage before editing, and I noticed that it cut out. So <clears throat> I see this this time. So it's presets. I showed you the channel list, yeah. Presets, it has game, dynamic, which just changes colours. Natural, which makes it all darker. Cinema, which once again makes it all darker. And back to game. Dynamic brightens up all the colours, but you can't see that because white screen. Natural makes the blacks really deep and the whites much... <sighs> makes it all more natural, as the name suggests. Cinema makes it all more dramatic, and game just brightens everything up. Okay, setting times. Oh, actually, also a list of sources there. TV, SCART, another SCART, side AV, HDMI, whatever that is, and VGA. 60 hertz I'm currently at. Right, menus. Got picture. Right, I think that this has the best picture settings because you can edit contrast, brightness, sharpness, colour very easily just simply by pressing buttons nice and easily okay back and sound it's more interesting one I've got it on movie because this has speakers in which are actually kind of good because they're a TV even for 80 quid actual settings like the normal oops <laughs> the normal stuff just date and time, parental control, sorts of Huh, it's boring. And then the other settings. Installed and retuned, so that's for your 3G channel list once again. A media browser because of the USB slots. What's that button? Do? Okay, no, don't want that. You got volume, program buttons, you got just a ton of, ton of buttons. Most of which you'll never ever use. Alright, now finally. Onto the um, the Dell S, I believe it's called. This has exactly the same settings as the last one. So this one, exactly the same settings. They're just harder to access. So I generally just spam this button, and then boom, it comes up with the same things. So yeah, what I personally think. All right. Um, so, a segue on there. I like the ISIS monitor. I like the TV. For one thing, it's a TV. Also, I like its colour settings, its customizability. But I definitely think that the stand. So, I think the stand on the um, Dell U2311H is a lot better with the swivel and stuff like that. This has an alright stand. This has an awful stand, but I prefer the customizability, and also this has a nicer bezel. So the bezels on the to the the um, whatever that is, the ISIS and the left hand side Dell one, pretty much the same. But as soon as you go over to this one, they get a fair amount thicker, which is a shame really for such a good monitor. It's only about a couple of millimetres though. But value for money wise, always go I would go for that because eighty quid out of a store with a warranty. Two hundred quid on Amazon, two hundred quid on Amazon. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. 
leave a comment down below to tell us what to do next and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I like trains.